Welcome to part two of the basic Bedini Pulse motor build. Focusing on the frame and rotor assembly, you can find the materials list in the description below. Let's get started right away. To begin, use a lighter to quickly remove any excess strings from the components. Insert a bearing into each stator stand, ensuring a secure fit. Attach 5 feet to the base plate for stability. Use 3mm screws to fasten the side plates to the stator stands. Next, take a piece of 220 grit sandpaper and create a flat plane where each rotor half will join together. This step ensures a smooth and seamless connection. Now, let's prepare the rotor shaft. Take an 8mm stainless steel rod and mark a length of 4 inches. Use your preferred method to cut the rod and remove any burrs. For the rotor assembly, apply glue to each rotor half, ensuring proper alignment with the rotor shaft. Use clamps to hold the halves together firmly until the glue dries. Now, it's time to insert four magnets into the rotor, placing them in all three cavities. To provide additional security, wrap fiber-reinforced packaging tape around the rotor. This tape is essential for keeping the magnets in place and preventing the rotor from coming apart at high RPMs. Although the tape may not look appealing, it serves an important purpose. To test the tape's strength, create a loop with two wraps and attempt to break it using your hands. You'll notice how strong and reliable it is, which is why I use it for every motor build. Next, center the rotor on the shaft and mark one side. Pull the rotor back slightly to apply glue. Then slide it back to the marked line. Use a twisting motion to evenly distribute the glue. Once the rotor is assembled, place it back into the frame and give it a spin. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like.